Just before 3 a.m. GMT this morning, President Putin announced the beginning of what he called a special military operation in Ukraine. He called on all Ukrainian soldiers, especially in the regions of Donetsk and Luhansk, to lay down their weapons and go home. Almost immediately, explosions were reported near the capital Kiev, Kharkiv in the northeast of the country, Odessa in the south, and Kramakorsk in the Donetsk region. At 5 a.m. GMT, shortly after Ukraine's President Zelensky confirmed reports of missile strikes on Ukrainian infrastructure, reports started to emerge of Russian troops entering Ukraine from Belarus, heading for the regions of Luhansk, Kharkiv, Chernihov, and Zhitomir. At 7.30 a.m. GMT came the first reports of casualties. Ukrainian police saying six people had been killed in a strike on a military unit based in Podilsk near Odessa. At 8.30 a.m., Ukraine's border guard service released the first pictures of what it says is a Russian military convoy crossing into the Kherson region of southern Ukraine from Crimea. An hour and a half later, Ukrainian officials claimed that Russian tanks had entered Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv. At about 11 o'clock GMT, Ukrainian defense intelligence buildings in the capital Kiev were hit by missiles. And as the afternoon progressed, reports continued to come in of explosions and military activity across much of the country. The capital Kiev is now facing a first night under curfew.